So there are a lot of things that can cause damage to DNA, mutation in DNA, and some of it is needs to be repaired by additional systems in the cell called DNA repair systems. We've talked about photoreactivation. That's where UV light creates pyrimidine dimers, and the photoreactivation involves an enzyme called photolyase, which is sometimes called photoreactivating enzyme, and that just cuts the covalent bond that was formed between the pyrimidine dimers, and that returns the DNA to its normal structure. Um, nucleotide excision repair is a repair system that is used to repair larger regions of damage in humans. It also includes pyrimidine dimers because we don't have photoreactivation. Um, and nucleotide excision repair involves cutting out not just the, the small segment of DNA that's damaged, but actually a whole section of one strand, and then removing that and then resynthesizing it using the other strand as a template. So that's called nucleotide excision repair. And that's defective in patients who have a disorder called xeroderma pigmentosum. Um, and we'll look at that. So those patients cannot do nucleotide excision repair. So they cannot repair things like UV damage, and that puts them at risk for skin cancer. There's another type of repair. It's called mismatch repair. It's actually a type of nucleotide excision repair. It specifically repairs mismatches that occur due to the DNA polymerase errors that sometimes happen during DNA replication. And what's interesting in mismatch repair is that you have, for example, during DNA replication, you have an, once the original strand, which is the template strand, and the newly synthesized strand shown in the orange. And let's say you have a T in the template strand and a G that was accidentally put into the new strand. That's called a mismatch. There's an enzyme that comes in and cuts out one strand and resynthesizes it. But the question is, is the is the enzyme going to remove, you know, the orange strand or is it going to remove the green strand? So the way that that problem is solved is that the enzyme will look at which strand is methylated. Okay, remember, especially cytosines, they show an adenine that's methylated, but it could typically cytosines get methylated as a normal part of um, DNA regulation. And so the enzyme will actually look, and whichever strand has the methyl groups, that strand will be assumed to be the template. And so only the new strand, the under-methylated strand, will be cut. And then this segment, here they show it kind of looping over. The segment is cut out and then resynthesized using um, the polymerase enzyme. So that's called mismatch repair. Then you have what's called direct repair. Direct repair is a little more simple. You're not resynthesizing a whole segment. You're just changing the affected nucleotide back to its original structure. So photoreactivation could be included in that. It's like if you have an enzyme that, or excuse me, if you have um, a nitrogenous base that's been methylated, for example, and that's going to create problems, then enzymes can remove, for example, that methyl group and just repair the problem. That's called direct repair. In this example, you have an enzyme called methyltransferase, but this methyltransferase removes methyl groups in other methyltransferases that you're familiar with, like DNMT1, adds methyl groups. But anyway, methyltransferase is an enzyme that moves methyl groups around. And so this is, this is an example of direct repair. This is a picture of a boy who has xeroderma pigmentosum. And this is all the skin damage, sun damage, that he's accumulated. And he's still young. Um, you might think that he's you know, a red-headed kid that's just freckly, but he's not. He's, um, he, this is all skin damage caused by sun damage, UV damage, that cannot be repaired because he is defective in his nucleotide excision repair enzymes. So some of these lesions will eventually 
you know, one or more will become cancerous. And so the um, case of malignant skin cancer in a person who has XP is very, very high. For example, you have like, I want to say, you know, something like 100% of them will have some kind of skin cancer by age 20. It's a very high percentage compared to, you know, the normal population when you have a child with skin cancer. So these are genetic diseases that are associated with defects in DNA repair systems. It can be defects in the enzymes, you know, it's, it's mutations that are causing um, the enzymes for nucleotide excision repair or mismatch repair, for example, to not function correctly. Xeroderma pigmentosum. That one you do need to know for this chapter. And then I'm highlighting a couple others, not that you need to know them right now, but you're going to see them again later. Hereditary non-polyposis colon cancer. It's a hereditary predisposition to colon cancer because if you inherit a mutated enzyme or a gene for an enzyme, it's needed for mismatch repair. And lee fraumini syndrome is a mutate is an inherited mutation where you have a protein that normally um, reacts to DNA damage that's not functioning correctly. So these circled ones we'll see again later. But the xeroderma pigmentosum, you need to know in this chapter what that is and what the general defect is, what the symptoms are. And that wraps up chapter 13.